hard, man. So look, I'm not even gonna lie. First of all, this is the wrong time to be doing this video. Cause the, the camera finna die. All right, the camera finna die and I don't have another battery, but we just go bear with it. We just go go with it. You feel me? You know what I'm saying? I don't know what I just said. But look, today I got a crazy video for y'all, bro. Y'all won't believe what I came across. All right, so I, I think like a couple weeks ago or maybe a couple days ago, I reacted to a video of like the most, the most racist town ever. All right, in Arkansas. Arkansas. Uh, yeah, that that town. Yeah, y'all remember that video, right? Okay, so it seems to me, all right, it brings to my attention that the man by the name of Nico went to the KKK. All right, the KKK leader or whatever it is, you feel me? Uh, he went to the mo the America's most racist man, which is the KKK leader or whatever. So we're gonna go ahead and watch this man. He actually interviewed the KKK leader, bro. This is like dead say Like this man actually interviewed the man. All right, so we're gonna go ahead and watch it and see what this KKK leader got to say. Why is he racist? Why he think this way? Whatever it is, you feel me? Hit the like button, subscribe to the post notifications, follow your boy on IG. All right, and by the way, if I keep doing this on my nose, no, I didn't snort anything. My nose just itching, okay? But anyways, let's get it. Let's go. Thank you. Hello. Nice to meet you. You too. Yeah, where, wherever you think is best. I'm about to interview the leader of the KKK and run with the name Imar Nance. This could go. Dun dun dun. Look, I can't afford sound effects in my video, so you know what we're gonna do? We're gonna make them myself. Very wrong. Very, very wrong. What's your name? Imar. How much? What's that? Imar. Imar Nance. And what other pieces you've done? Have you, have you heard of the English Defense League in, in the UK? Oh. I have it. Have you heard of the English Defense League? Yeah. Okay. So you know about the English Defense League? Okay. Yeah, so, so basically the English Defense League, they just basically want to keep England for English. Oh, uh -huh. that's not reasonable. So you did an interview with them? Yes, I've done interviews with them in the past. Welcome um, to the BBC. We're here with Thomas Robb. My name is Thomas Robb. I'm the National Director of the Knights of the Ku Klux Klan. I'm here with Imar Norris and... Nons. 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 So I, Imar... Nance. 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 So, so N O N S. Nance. Can, can you say Nance? Nance. <laughs> Nance. Nance. Nance, man. Nance. 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 It's Nance. Nance. Not, bro. I, bro. I hate trying to tell people how to pronounce something, bro. Because then they still say the same word. They feel like they saying the word that you're saying, but they are really not saying the word that you're saying. So you could say it's Nance. 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 Like, bro, just shut up. It's nonce. All right? We get it. Nance. Gosh. N S. Uh, well, Nance. So, nonce. Nance. Yes, perfect. Nance. I'm here with Imar Nance. So, now if we, just, if we can just do that from the top. I'm Thomas Robb. I'm here with Imar Nance. And he's with BBC. And yeah. We're here having an enjoyable conversation <laughs> about, about my involvement uh, with the Knights of the. <laughs> I'm never calling the man a BBC. I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm national director and welcome here to the Ozarks. Thank you. Thank you very much. Well, really appreciate this. This is the highlight of my career. The highlight of your oh, career. Honestly, oh. I'm being I'm being real with you. First off, Thomas, um, could you just tell us about the KKK? When people hear the, the name KKK, all kinds of images come to their mind. We read in history books that the Klan were organized to subdue and put down black people. The Nonsense. purpose of, we don't view ourselves as being anti-black. We want to preserve our heritage, we want to preserve our culture, we want to preserve who our, our identity. You want to stay white. There's nothing there's nothing ra a racist about that. Absolutely. It really annoys me when people say um, that the KKK is racist because there's nothing pointing towards the KKK being well, racist at all. How did you start your journey with the uh, Ku Klux Klan? Did you get like a sign? I don't like that. He said he said there's nothing racist about the KKK, but then he was like, uh but and like, it's like he was kind of hesitant. I don't know. I don't know. KKK being well, racist at all. How did you start your journey with the uh, Ku Klux Klan? Did you get like assigned? Did they like start you off on like I, quests I, or anything? I, I was I was always involved in. I don't care what he's involved in. If I'm honest, I just wanted to move on to the more important questions. Have you seen any of like the other clans out there? I've seen clans like Phase Clan, Optic Clan. I just think they're idiots. Yeah, like yeah, no one, no one would be a higher prestige level than you. Years ago, I used to go and speak for some other clan. But after a while, I thought these guys are idiots. Yeah, I didn't want to be connected to these people, so I finally stopped speaking to other, other groups and so. I feel that if I would have joined and pursued a career, scoping. I could have very, yeah. been very successful in those careers also. Yeah, they mean well, but they just don't have what it takes to take their clan to the to the levels of the sure. Ku Klux. Would there be someone from FaZe clan here? I don't know. We don't ask. We don't, Optic. I don't ask. Yeah. Oh, fair, fair. Church. So we, don't, we, don't. we don't discriminate. 
in this church. Maybe we need to go. No. Oh, oh, yeah, he's laughing. Everybody's like, what? Don't never put the camera back on that man, bro. No, do not. Don't put the camera back on that man. <laughs> oh, yeah, he's laughing. <laughs> <laughs> what cool is this? This is ridiculous. <laughs> Come on, man. Get to the good questions. I want to know, is this man racist or not? That's what I want to know. I came here to know if this man racist. I didn't come here to know what organization he's got. I don't care. I just want to know, why is he in the KKK? Why do he feel the need to be in the KKK? That's what I want to know. That's what I'm here for. Come on, man. Get to the T. <laughs> Maybe we do, because everybody's so, not welcome in our church. I'm sorry. So could I come to this church? No. no. Okay. No, hey, makes sense. Just yeah. No. yeah, no, fair enough. What do you think of the people who say, that you're racist. What do you mean by a racist? Someone who doesn't like black people or has prejudices towards black people. Uh, even those words don't, what do those words mean? I've got prejudice, of course I do. Everybody has prejudice. Sorry, was that a, a dumb question? I mean, I prefer being around white people. I'm sorry, that's the way it is, you know? Oh, and, you, you, no, but like, I'm, I'm like a support. I'm not gonna lie. I'm not gonna lie. La, 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 don't get mad at me. For all my black people, don't get, look, I love being around my black people. I love being around y'all. But come on, bro. We all got to agree that we all like being around white people. Okay, it's a reason why. It's a reason why. All right, let me explain myself. The reason why I feel, I won't say I like being around white people. I don't care who I'm around. I mean, I like being around everybody. All right, I love everybody equally. I don't care who I'm around, to be honest, if you want me to be real with you. I think the mirror focus on why people enjoy being around white people is simply because it's not as as um <laughs> how do i put this without people trying to like really bash me for what i'm about to say okay um mm, you know what i don't know how to put it okay so i'm gonna just be blunt with it i like being around white people because i feel more safe i feel more safe around white people i'm not gonna lie i believe that if i'm around a white person or a white party and we over here singing miley cyrus and hey uh, usa like we over here singing all the white songs i'm i'm, I'm i feel safe i feel safe i'm not gonna lie I feel safe around my white people, okay? Like, I mean, if we out here in the party, I believe that this party is not going to get shot up. The, the least that might happen is a white person may get drunk and they may start acting crazy. But that's entertainment to me. A black person get drunk is de it's definitely going to be a fight. It's definitely be a gun. And there might be some other stuff that don't need to be happening. I mean, the aunties, uncles, and nieces and nephews finna come up and blow the party down. But let, let me be in a white party and we over here singing, Hey, what a wonderful time of day. Did you learn from what? You know what I'm saying? We over here just vibing. You know, with my white friends. Yeah, Bob! Woo! Like, I mean, that's just fun to me. Being around white people, I feel more safe around them. I feel like nothing will happen if I'm around them. You know what I'm saying? Being around black people, I'm not gonna lie. It's like, it get crazy, bro. It gets crazy. You go to a black, pa black party, everything, it ends up with violence. It ends with violence, bro. That's just how it is. That's just how the world has, like, that's just how the world has come. Believe it or not, I mean, you could say that I don't like black people or whatever, but I love my race. I love my race. I love being black. I wouldn't change me being black for nothing. But I'm just saying, bro, we, we get a little too crazy, a little too wild. You feel me? I got some food coming. I'm sorry. I got food coming, y'all. You know what I'm saying? I'm over here just talking. Where my food at? You know what I'm saying? Where my food at? Okay, it's not here yet. I don't think it's here. Okay. All right, come on. Port review, so uh, including me, like you prefer being around... White people. I'll be your friend, but you're not gonna come over to my house for a barbecue. Oh, you wouldn't invite me? <laughs> no. Oh, fair enough. Yeah. yeah. You know? yeah. That's racist. <laughs> That's racist. No, it's not racist, but dang, like, why you gotta be so blunt with it? Like, oh yeah, I prefer being around white people. I mean, like, hey, just know you're never gonna come over to my house for a barbecue. Well, I'm sorry, we don't want that unseasoned food anyways. No, I'm just playing. I, that was just a joke. That was particular for him, okay? He just don't look like he can really throw down on the grill. I'm just saying. Like, he just used salt and pepper on everything. Salt and pepper is not seasoning. Yeah, makes sense. Uh, and that's, is that because of color? Yeah. Okay, yeah. Uh, we, I, I'm a separatist. I preserve my own people. And I, I, I'm not offended by a black person who says, hey, I prefer being around other black, yeah. my black brothers. Fine, I understand that. Yeah. I prefer being around my family than some strange family. Me personally, as a, as a fan, of, fan of you, I'm not trying to portray all the KKK as racist because I've never seen anything racist no. by the KKK. It goes serious. back to the idea of what is a racist. If a racist is someone who hates black people and wants to do them harm or something that, and then obviously I'm, I, I have no desire to, I have no de desire to see Miss. Uh-uh, he's stuttering. He's lying. He is lying. He's lying. He's lying. He's definitely lying. He's, he's stuttering. Right, he's stuttering. Desire to I have no desire to see misfortune come to a black child. 
Yeah. I have no desire for that. I feel, I, I feel, I feel compassion for a, a young black mother whose child is get caught up in the drugs or gets shot by a drive-by shooting. I feel as much compassion for them. Mm. I, I got to qualify that. I probably feel more compassion for a white child. I have, I just have to say that. I personally, I believe that the black people in this country. He say he's not racist, but I feel like everything that he's trying to say, he's trying to avoid. I don't, I don't get it. <laughs> like half of the stuff he's saying is like a little bit like, like, I mean, you say I'm not racist. I'm not racist. I'm not this. I'm not that. But I mean, everybody has their preferences, but dang, bro. Like this kind of like hurt. Like this has just hurt. You feel me? Like you tell me you have more sympathy for a white child than a black child. Like dang, that's kind of crazy, bro. I have, I just have to say that. I personally, I believe that the black people in this country would be much better off if somebody like me was running things than the liberal crackpots that we got in Washington, D.C. today. Why has there never been like a KKK party? In this country, okay, up until- Wait, if we, if we just look down the lens while, while we say this part. Okay, in this country, up until somewhere in the 1960s, this country was, was a dominant white rule, white, yeah. white power structure, what I'll call that. That's not the way it is today. Yeah, things have changed now. The only way is going to go back. In my mind, maybe I'm wrong. I'll always, always say, well, maybe I'm wrong. But it, it, until white people re once again control this nation, black people will be unsafe in their own Wait, hold the way. Am I tripping? Am I tweaking? Boy, lock in before I tweak out, boy. Am I tweaking right now? You got spit coming out. Man, where's my food? I'm, I'm just hungry. I don't even care. I'm, I'm just hungry right now. I'm literally just hungry. Like, DoorDash, come on, bro. You know what I'm saying? I'm just hungry. I'm just hungry. That's all I am. I'm just hungry. But am I tweaking right now? What is he talking about? And white people rule this nation. I swear black people will be this. Oh, I'm a camera fan to die, y'all. That's crazy. But, yeah. Okay, let's get through the video. Come I'm on. wrong, but it, it, until white people re once again control this nation, black people will be unsafe. And so basically, you're saying that if a white person was to control this nation, if if white people don't control this nation, we are technically just going to be unsafe. I'm confused. Their own neighborhoods by their own people. From what you've said, I black people will be unsafe in their own neighborhoods by their own people. From what you've said, I really respect you speaking from the heart like this. I actually did some documenting in the UK as well, where there was a group of supporters for the KKK in a town called Clapped. And I think that, honestly, you're, you're like a Clapped guy. If you could shout out the, the people from Clapped, the supporters of the KKK in Clapped. Is there anybody out there in the UK? In the UK? Yeah, in the UK in Clapped. In the UK, Ireland, Scotland, Wales, yeah. um, England. Howdy. I just know they would have appreciated a shout out. Well, shout out. Shout out to the people from Clapped. Shout out. Thomas is a Clapped guy. <laughs> I don't really know the clap people, so I, maybe I'm wrong. No, you are, you are. Okay, I'm a clap guy, all right. Um, Forgive me, clap people. <laughs> <laughs> now that Thomas had called himself Clapped, it was time for me to reveal the ace up my sleeve. We run a group in the UK called the UK Stand with um, the KKK. We made a post of me and you together, and we mentioned if anyone wanted a shout out, maybe we pick three names and you just shout them out. They, they are your supporters. Make sure you got there. Thank you all the people from the UK stand with KKK. Right here we have Thomas and he's going to be shouting your names out. I, I, I map. You say? I map, you say? I don't know my I map, you say? <laughs> I map. I'm a pussy. <laughs> I'm sorry, I'm sorry. That called me up. You say says can't wait, for, I guess, for the interview. So, well, BLM. BL. BL? M. BLM? Yeah. See, he's the best, I guess. Shout out BLM. I'm a shout out to you and then. So shout out to who? To BLM? Yeah. Yeah, and it says he love him. I don't know. Hope that guy's done. Don't shout out Black Lives Matter. Don't shout out Black Lives Matter. No. No. All Lives Matter! ALM! That's what we shout out. Okay. So let's go. Wait. <laughs> then Sue Kabedic. Sue. Sue yeah. Kabedic. Yeah, Sue Kabedic? Yeah. I guess I pronounced that right. Yeah. Says love him, so I, I appreciate people like me. I like I like yeah, to have no, people all, the, like all me. these people are, and that's the thing. Oh, you have fantastic. you have a lot of supporters well, in the UK. Thank you so okay. much for shouting them out. Right. Let's round it up properly because um, we'll look down the lens. Introduce your name properly. So just say I'm Thomas, member of the KKK. I've enjoyed um, this BBC. I'm Thomas Rob. I've been a, a national director for the Knights of the Ku Klux Klan, and I enjoyed yeah. this. 
uh, interview with, BBC. with the BBC. No, it's this BBC. So it's just, I've enjoyed this BBC. It's a BBC interview. I've enjoyed this BBC. Yeah, thank you. Thank you. I'm oh, sorry. <laughs> I'm sorry. I enjoyed this BBC. Is never coming out my mouth. With all due respect, I enjoyed this BBC. I wish I would say something like that. Thank you. No, it's been a proper deep interview. I appreciate you taking this BBC. So am I the first mixed race person Bro, in this please show? stop. We've had reporters from every European nation. We have BBC uh, here before, a number of years yeah. ago. Oh, so this is the second time you've had a second, BBC. Second, third time, maybe. I don't know. Yeah. So your experience with the BBC. We've, we've, done, we've done, a lot of, done a lot of interviews here. Mm -hmm. the any, any as deep as this one? It is as what? As deep as this one. Oh yeah, sure. You've had a proper deep sure. experience with yeah. the BBC? Yeah, it's fine. Okay, great. Thank you. Thank All you right. so much. Thomas, Rob, you have no idea what you've just done. I'm not the BBC. I'm just a random man making a mockery of everything you stand for. I won't touch that just in case I disintegrate. Okay, BBC, here we have the flag of the Ku Klux Klan. No, this is the Knights Party. Huh? There's not a Klan flag. This is oh, flag of okay, the of the Knights Party. So they're different? Correct. Okay. Okay, BBC, here we have the flag. Oh, wait, wait, we, we haven't got the shot yet. And here we have the flag of the Knights Party. Honestly, man, you've, you've, you've really smashed this interview. We need to wrap it up, though, because I've got... You've, you've got stuff to do. Thomas Robb, leader of the Ku Klux Klan, has taken this BBC. Thank you very much. You're welcome. No problem. Such a deep interview. <laughs> Bro, ain't no way. <laughs> Appreciate you. Okay. Thomas T.O. Races <laughs> Obliterated by BBC. Bro. <laughs> oh my gosh. This, this video has been everywhere. Rob had taken my BBC and was now struggling to walk. But I had one final question to ask him. I, That's the most gayest thing ever. Did mean to ask about the, the hoods in the class. Do you ever wear those hoods? The pointy things? We have them for a cross lighting set of ceremony. Okay. All right. And just as a like a side question, have, have you ever like made love with the hood on? Yeah. Okay. Well, fair enough. Let's just get this pick, and uh, and we'll go. At this moment, Thomas Rob had realised he had been swindled, and he was burning. So never made love with the hood. He didn't didn't say no, Thomas. Oh, you, great. You, you degraded yourself now. The interview is over. I'm sorry. You get in the car. You may leave. Okay. Perfect. Appreciate you, Thomas. Thanks for the interview. It's got BBC. What did I just watch? Oh man. Um. Anyways, as y'all see, I got my food. Okay, I got my food. You know what I'm saying? I got me a gyro. You know what I'm saying? With some fries with some mouth sauce on it. <laughs> and it's a steak gyro, by the way. Um. But no, the camera ended up dying. I started off from wherever. Y'all don't care about all that. But truth be told, I want to. I want to know y'all opinion about this whole situation. Like, was this man really racist, or am I tripping? I don't know. Maybe this, this, some of the stuff he was saying was just out of pocket. It was just like, uh huh? Like, uh, like I feel like he wasn't trying to nudge the way to like, okay, I'm racist, but he was trying to like back up from saying like, okay, I'm really racist. Like, I, I don't understand. All right, I don't get it. Y'all, let me know what y'all think about the situation. Hit the like button, subscribe, turn on post notifications. I'm finna go enjoy my meal. Okay. Uh, I love each and every one of y'all, man. God bless. Stay blessed. Peace.